Hello Twin Flames! I hope you guys are doing great! Merry Christmas and Happy New Year! Or whichever holiday you celebrate, I congratulate you with it! And I know we're all looking forward to the new beginnings in 2024. And of course, from astrology, astronomy side, this is going to be greatly supported by different transits. And we're going to talk more about it in the coming days. I also hope you checked out the video on the full moon in Cancer, which was the last video I did and posted yesterday. Uh, we do have the peak of the full moon today. We'll be feeling it. I would say up till end of this week so uh whatever you're doing whatever you feel like you want more time for more space for more resources for it's important to release things that are taking resources that are not your highest priority anymore right so it's a very potent time to uh be aware of those things and to leave them behind as this is a full moon in Cancer, ritual connected with water is highly advisable. But uh, essentially, whatever you do, the most important part is being very much aware of what is it that you're leaving behind. It could be um, conversations. Wow. Somebody needed to leave behind conversations. I wanted to say um, relationships, right? So it could be people, a person. That you're leaving behind and that's also important that could be hard to do it's important to let them go and you know how they say if it's yours they're going to come back well if they are your person you know whether it's a friend a romantic partner um, or otherwise right they'll be back right there will be better circumstances better energy better conditions if they're not yours then what's the point right it's only going to drag you down Okay, now that said, we're going to start a reading. It's going to be a classic read. I will do a DM reading this week, but not today. I also will post 2024 predictions for each zodiac sign on this channel, specifically for twins and light workers. So watch out for that. We'll start with Capricorn. It's Capricorn season. And then I'll move forward with, you know, each zodiac sign. And of course, I'm going to be posting January predictions on my other channel, Mindful Bamboo. And by the way, if you're looking for more specific full moon messages for yourself, I posted the reading on the channel with messages for each zodiac sign. There are timestamps, so go ahead. I'll probably also mention it in the comments below just so you can easily find it. All right, I've got the Sacred Traveler deck and there's already the first card that's flying away from me. So I'm going to have to pick it up and that's going to be a message for Divine Feminines. Let's see, actually, if I can maybe do this, do a little bit of a stretch. Watching clouds, <sighs> lie back, rest, and relax. Ooh, I love this, especially for this week, you know, we're in this holiday mode, a lot of us are. Even if you don't celebrate in your home, it's still like in the corporate world, in culture, in society, if people do celebrate, if there is observance of uh, public holidays, you still naturally get that time off or maybe there are specific events happen. Maybe you've been invited to parties, to some sort of events. So in any case, it's this invitation, right? To relax, to kick back, to forget about your usual worries and responsibilities and chores and everything else and relax. Recollect and reconnect, I'm also getting. I mean, we do have Mercury retrograde now too, just a reminder. So a lot of people are also gonna be thinking about the way that communications happened this year for them. Uh, the good and the bad, right? Where maybe you showed courage and authenticity in moments when it wasn't easy and how maybe it wasn't as popular as it could have been if you've expressed something, uh, you know, an, a different opinion, but it felt good and you know deep down that it was the right thing to do and it opened up new doors. Or maybe the other way around, maybe it's somewhere where you are too quick to judge, right? Or you said some hurtful things that you regret it later. Or maybe even you didn't say some important things like I care about you, I love you, I appreciate you. 
right? So all of these things are coming full circle now, especially in the last six months. So full moon is in Cancer. So remember the new moon in Cancer, which was six months ago. And you can even check it out, exact date. And maybe you will even remember what you were up to back then, right? This is like full circle of that. That was the beginning of the phase. Now we're at the end of the phase. So it's good time to assess this timeline, this time period, right? To see what was happening and what kind of results are you reaping right now, essentially. What do we have for the masculines? Wondrous universe, walk in beauty. Wow. Be open to miracles. Make a wish. You know, in my culture, a lot of people are making wishes on New Year's night, right? So maybe people will be doing that or you have your own rituals or traditions where you'll be calling in luck and abundance and wealth and whatever, health, um, peace, whatever else is necessary and is appropriate for you right now. So this is a great time to do that. Beautiful. Okay, let's get into tarot. Bottom of the deck, five of wands. It's an interesting deck and doesn't have the labels everywhere, but I know it and I know this is five of wands, right? So there may be a lot going on. You may feel like you have fight and priorities right now and people are asking you to do this, to catch up on that. Um, maybe there is a bunch of people who are asking to catch up and you don't you, you understand you won't have time for all of them right and maybe when you think even more you understand that you don't want to see any of them <laughs> or catch up with any of them right um, this is that moment to kind of a moment of truth where you can come back to self and you don't really owe anything to anyone if it's getting too tight to just say no make up an excuse but make it you know don't go too far with it obviously but you can always come up with something right and take the time for yourself but it's important to do so if that's what you're called to do if that's what your heart is asking for now bottom of the deck for the clarifier deck this is four of cups right boredom and kind of like feeling you're wasting time so don't waste your time guys uh right now right don't feel like this is a placeholder between important um activities in your life it's not it's a very potent time and the more meaning you're gonna include into it the more fruitful it's going to be and it doesn't necessarily mean a lot of doing in our society we're still living by the laws of like you're like it's considered successful time you know successful journey successful activity if you've accomplished a lot if you've been doing a lot right but it doesn't really mean it like oh doesn't mean it it's not necessarily the case right and you don't necessarily have to be doing stuff to be successful or for it to have a meaning feminines your energy eight of cups clarified by five of cups living behind sorrow and sadness and feeling like you like you've made mistakes i spoke about it a little bit uh at the beginning right about maybe regretting things you've said or that you didn't say uh, or your opinions, your thoughts about something or someone, right? This is like leaving that behind because you have so much to look forward to that during this full moon, it's so important during this time, this week, it's so important to leave behind maybe some mistakes, maybe some events, you know, you're just not proud of that you're a part of it, right? And you're thinking, okay, if I had to do it again, I would have done this so differently, right? But I mean, be grateful that you've learned that lesson and you will be able to do things differently going forward, right? But right now, just accept that that was part of the journey. And if you feel bad, you know, for other people, like you've somehow hurt them or they didn't deserve it or whatever, just think about it as this was part of their journey that they were supposed to take. And it was an important integral part of their becoming, of their mindful shifts, of their learnings. So really nothing personal just business <laughs> masculines you have 10 of pentacles and clarified by 10 of swords wow end of the cycle yeah so there is a desire to build a fortune to build abundance 
but there is certain pain uh, that's stopping you. And they don't have to be directly connected. Like it could be pain from, I don't know, past a romantic relationship that's stopping you from earning a fortune. And there is this connection that you're supposed to see during this time that will help you on your way to greatness, I'm hearing, <laughs> right? Like this is available, this is in the cards. But again, you'll need to leave doubt and fear and hurt behind in order to open up to this energy of abundance, of wholeness, of harmony. Additional question, King of Wands clarified by Four of Wands. Wow. It says like readiness to commit, right? Being a divine partner, being a twin flame partner, right? Like what does it mean right now? The twins are getting new blueprints or maybe some more details are like come out from the sketch that they've had before you know like if you're if an artist is approaching their painting or their work like from the like doing the sketch first and then like filling in the details like that was a sketch first that was just some ideas right something more or less abstract and now details start to be added to come out as if by magic so that's what's happening for the twins and them seeing what being a divine partner means not just boyfriend girlfriend not even business partners not even friends like the divine partner we are spiritual beings we have spiritual mission here individually and together so what new information is coming up for the feminines queen of pentacles clarified by king of wands another king of wands wow <laughs> so um yeah so it's interesting the feminines are seeing how they are the complement of the match for the masculine. If like the, the part before that was like a big part of the learning of the becoming was uh, to see the greatness in themselves, to see how much of an empress they are, you know, and they don't need a man or like, let's say masculine energy doesn't have to be a man to complete them, right? Now it's new level, we're almost like coming back, but in a very different energy. Like, okay, so how, uh, how am I going to be that uh, partner to my DM, right? Because we're going to have to build, well, going to have to, have to. We'll be building our life together as a couple, right? And including the romantic couple as well, right? Uh, like us building our lives together will mean so many different things. And this is understanding how that independence and authenticity and being a light worker and doing like your own business right literally doesn't necessarily mean that there is no place for you to be nurturing and caring and um sensual and soft and kind of like if you take the dance equivalents to be the follower to your masculine who is the leader right like this is like seeing these nuances right understanding how that will work how that doesn't negate what you've done what you've built right uh but you still can uh maintain that partnership this is like next level now now you're maintaining your power your energy your authority as part of this tandem as part of this union of this commitment lifelong commitment right where there is space for the two Masculines, you have the strengths, or it's actually nine of wands in this deck, clarified by knight of wands. So the masculines are overcoming fears to get to the strengths, to be not forceful, what's the right word? To come forward and to be persistent, to kind of be um, strong in their moves, in their communication, in the steps that they take, but not coming out of the ego or fear or just wanting to impress a feminine from like a physical or sexual um, point of view, right? Like essentially get them um, to be physically intimate, right? This is coming from a much deeper place. This is like, okay, yes, being this long-term partner is not gonna be just like trying to impress them. Uh, in the moment, right, to get them to be with me and then things will just stop building up by themselves, right? Like there were a lot of uh, predefined templates from friends, from personal experience with uh, feminine energies before, from society at large, from maybe 
wisdom of the previous generations, whether it was fathers or grandfathers or whatever, whoever else was talking about, like the way you're supposed to treat a woman or a feminine, right? Like there's always somebody in the family who's like, wants to pass on the wisdom, right? Like this is erasing that <laughs> and almost starting anew, right? But in a much more, like a much different, area. there's still that excitement. There's still a desire to impress to be the masculine, right? But it's coming from a very different place. And most importantly, it's what it's the it's the conclusion that DMs are coming to by themselves. Almost like not with the help of somebody else, but almost like in opposition to what other people are, are telling them or what their brain is playing to them. How are the feminine seeing the masculines right now? Failure. <laughs> Seven of Pentacles, which is failure in this deck, clarified by Seven of Cups, two sevens. So this is like potential. This is that spiritual uh, pursuit, um, the search for the truth, right? Like mm, being determined and persistent to find the truth, right? Like the future is not very clear right now, but masculines are making moves. They are trying something they really want to get this right that's what the feminines can see wow and we for the how the masculine see feminine so we see seven of swords clarified by three of pentacles um so yeah the masculine see that there are certain themes in feminine's life that they haven't been able to tackle by themselves right and they almost like put them in the freezer to kind of like keep it on hold, kind of like, yeah, I'll get back to it. Well, well yeah, seems like too uh, overwhelming or too tough to handle right now. So I'm going to get to it later. And now is the time. It's time to get to that, right? And they see that the feminines understand that they will need support. They will need to work with other people. This is not one of those that, you know, I'm so powerful, powerful I'm going to do it by myself. This requires some help. So they see how this, how the feminines are preparing for this step. Because Seven of Swords is also kind of like an internal conversation, right? Like where, what have I been putting off for far too long? And I need to get to those areas of my life. It, very, it will be very different for everyone. For some, it's finally taking care of those health issues. For others, um, it's friendships, right? And how do we keep each other in each other's lives? For others, it will be maybe financial matters, right? And uh, building that future for yourself where you can actually decide how and where and with who you're going to partner, you're going to collaborate. For another group, it might be some legal issues from the past, maybe getting a divorce or finally sorting out papers uh, connected to an inheritance or, uh, I don't know, you're moving to a new country and you need to be properly... Uh, registered everywhere or like go through some process of becoming a resident or something along those lines right like that's now in focus because we're getting closer and closer to the union space and it's important to figure these things out so that there are no loose ends okay uh thank you for being with me today guys i'll leave you here love you all happy holidays let me know in the comments if you want to do if you want me to do a reading of a particular format. Otherwise, like, share, subscribe, and go to that full moon in Cancer reading on my other channel with messages for a horoscope sign. Bye, everyone.